Next question is from Fulviol the Castle. What are the pros and cons of the suicide grip for bench pressing? Oh, I think the name alone will tell you the, the cons. So suicide <laughs> well, so grip. Is, is there any real pro? Even though I, I yeah. bench this way a lot, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, there is. So it's, it's just a thumbless grip, right? So you're holding the bar like this rather yeah. than your thumb around the bar. And a lot of, you'll see a lot of power lifters and strength athletes and some bodybuilders press this way. And then you'll see other people say you should have your thumb around the bar. So what are the pros, right? Well, the pros are when you the, are the, the hand placement when you're thumbless, right. and it actually sh shortens the lever just a little bit, right? So when I grab with my thumb around, I'm probably adding uh, you know a quarter inch or or less, but a, a little bit of of lever length, right, to my to my forearm. And what does that mean? A little bit more stability is involved in the press. When I shorten the lever, I'm probably able to lift more weight uh, as a result. What are the cons? Well, you don't have your thumb around the bar. And uh, never happened to me. I've pressed like this before. I t and now I press every time with my thumb around. But I've seen people r drop the bar. Yeah. There's it, those scary videos where people, them. yeah, where they actually drop the bar and really hurt themselves. So there's a high danger factor, I said, in comparison, I guess, mm -hmm. with that. But there are ways to put your thumb around and also kind of place it similar on your, on your palm. Yeah. That's how I grip. When I grip my thumbs around, but I still place it kind of low on the, on the palm. When I do my presses and it feels, uh, you know, well, very similar. Well, I just look at it like most things, like it, like even pull-ups or uh, pulling where you know, there's people that do it without their thumb. And honestly, like in, in terms of having a really solid grip and, and trying to uh, make sure that that's something that I'm always trying to strengthen. I'm trying to strengthen this nice tight fist. So that also affects my wrists and, and, and reiterates a good position there for the force distribution. And so uh, I just think it creates bad patterns. I think it's it's one of those novelty things that like somebody makes an excuse for shitty form. And that's just where I'm at. <laughs> I mean, I think another uh, another con is that it's, you know, weak wrist, right? I mean, if, you, if you're resting right there on the bone and you're not having to actually stabilize and activate with your wrist, you, you know, could have weak wrist for that week mm -hmm. and even weak forearms, the forearms are what are helping stabilize the wrist. So um, that would be another con. And I guess pro for me, when I would use it is it just felt more comfortable to mm -hmm. me. And it's probably because it was a little bit easier. I, ne I never put that much thought into it. So I kind of bounce back and forth. Um, you you'll see me do most of the time I grip around the bar, I guess maybe sometimes when I, I think naturally I probably default when I go to like a max lift or I'm lifting towards that, I probably break the wrist and I go down in that position probably because it's not, it's easier well, for me. Let me ask you guys this. Did you ever allow clients to press without the thumb? No, exactly. Hell no. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just not good technique. It's not. You would never teach it that way. No, you wouldn't. And, and you know, by the way, for people listening who are like, what what difference does it make with your wrist? I mean, look, it's, there's a reason why powerlifters wear wrist braces yeah. when they bench press. I remember this as a kid. I remember when bench press was like the lift of all lifts, right? I would do wrist wraps around the bar, tighten it up so that it was really tight around my wrist and I could lift more mm -hmm. because it felt more stable around yeah. my wrist. So. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you you might be able to lift more or feel like you can lift more. I don't know how much of a difference it makes because the lever is shorter. Is it worth it? No, I don't. It's not going to contribute to more chest gains or shoulder or tricep gains. And then there is that that's the increased risk. It, you, I don't think it's a huge increased risk, especially if you're doing it properly, of you dropping the bar on your chest. Yeah. That sucks. I've Yikes. seen some terrible videos online. I mean, if you're doing. if you're already doing it, it's whatever. If you're not doing it, there's no reason for you to do it. Yeah. Right. So if you're if you're there's no huge benefits though. That's, that's, that's what point. I'm that's what I'm saying. There's no real reason for you to, if you're already benching with a a complete grip. There's no reason for you to go to a false or a suicide grip. Right. So I would never teach like you said. That's a great way to ask it. Would I teach a client? I would never tell a client, hey, let go of the bar and let it just rest yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And now we're gonna do this exercise. No, I would tell them to grab on the bar and then we would teach them. Mechanics. Yeah, like you don't see people do a thumbless grip with a chest press with uh, dumbbells, right? Right. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. So, right. It's the same thing. Uh -uh.